What's up, everyone? Uh, it's Zach here. Uh, today I'm going to be reacting to some more. Uh, it's More Life by Corday featuring Q-Tip. Uh, I've listened to some of Corday's music in the past. Uh, not a lot of it, like a few songs here and there, and I've seen a lot of clips of him. And I very much have enjoyed what I've seen, but I haven't had time to like dive into his discography or anything like that. Uh, so this will give me a chance to do that. I know I said today was going to be a video about uh, me doing a remix or remaster of Weapons of Mass Destruction. Unfortunately, I was working a lot this week uh, at my day job, or I guess night job because it's at night. I'm, I'm an axe throwing coach, if anyone doesn't know. Um, but I've been working a lot, so I haven't had time to actually sit down and work on any music this week. I haven't even streamed this week, and I do that on Twitch, Cosmic Vampire Streams. Um... But yeah, so today we're just going to do a reaction just so I can get a video up uh, this week. I might do, I I am still going to do that remix. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it in a video or anything, but if I do, it'll be probably just uh, on a random day I'll put out that video. But I'll like give some heads up to it uh, on my social media, so follow me at Vlad Zahara on Instagram and Twitter. I post a lot of like updates on what's going on creatively, like music, uh, streams any of that fun stuff. I also have a Discord. Uh, if, for those who don't know, Discord is a social media type thing where you can have group chats and stuff like that, uh, servers with a bunch of people. I have that up so I can like connect with fans more. I can, uh, all my friends, some of my friends are in it. Um, and I'll drop a link down to that below for anyone that wants to join. If you do join, uh, let me know where you're joining from, if you're joining from this video or anything like that. But without further ado, let's uh, jump right into this song. I also have the lyrics up this time in case I miss anything. Uh, it's on, up on a different screen, so if you see me looking up, it's because it's on a different monitor. Alright. Middle school and the college you dropped out of. Alright. Think it's all she wrote. Look at the my holy quotes. Looking for the antidote. And I think I found that it's life. Life, my nigga, it's life. More life. And I think it's all she wrote. Yeah, I live in that same building, right there. For real, it's like really like, man, put your mind to that shit, bro. Like manifest. Life, my nigga, it's life. Yeah. More life. I like that. Hold on. Before he, before he actually gets into it. Uh first of all, I did not expect Q Tip's voice to sound like that. Like, at all. Like, I really didn't. Um, I don't think I've heard anything from Q-Tip. I'm also going to turn up the volume for you guys a little bit. Um, but I do like how he's going back. Like, in the beginning, it said he was going back to uh, where he grew up. His middle school, uh, the college he dropped out of, his high school, all that stuff, his neighborhood. And in the video, you can see that he was talking to some people from the neighborhood. It's like, yeah, like, I started right here. Like, he's keeping it humble, going back to his roots and all that stuff. And I really... Really fuck with people who do that. All right, let's get back into it. Yeah. Okay, I ain't drop a song in a year. My fans is happy to wait. Designer music turned my album in fashionably late. But damn, the time and perfect. My last classic was dedicated to finding purpose. Did Wait, hold on. Designer music turned my album fashionably late. That's that's a bar. That's a bar right there. I like. I fuck with that. Cause designer designer clothing fashion yeah you get it still don't think that i get the credit that i'm deserving but last week we was just hooping with Kyrie Irving. i've been focusing on things that seem not as urgent like stand true to my core these basic things they saying you should ignore who could afford the price of fame but honestly what is we doing it for my happiness i'm still pursuing the source lay my life Ooh, okay okay so he's talking about right now um He's still staying true to his roots. Like, obviously, like I was talking about, like, in this video, he's going back to his, his roots. Uh, staying when he said, uh, like, staying true to my core. These basic things they say you should ignore. Uh, so he's like, like, people will sometimes when they blow up. Uh, not all the time, but sometimes people blow up and they forget where they came from. They're not as humble anymore. Uh, they're not giving back from where they came came from or anything like that. They're just... Uh, basically, it, it changes them a little bit. Like, they will become, like, a complete, like, total blowhard asshole, all that. Uh, but he's saying, like, nah, he's trying to stay true to himself throughout this whole thing. 
with that same thing, it's like, uh, who could afford the price of fame? A lot of famous people always talk about how it comes with a heavy price. Like, you lose your privacy. Like I said, some people uh, change. It changes who they are. Uh, so it's a very give and take, especially in an in industry like music. It's very give and take. All right. We'll uh, jump back a little bit, a couple seconds. What is we doing it for? My happiness, I'm still pursuing the source. Lay my life over these lucrative scores. Document struggles that we choose to endure. And they wonder why the young niggas loot in the stores. Damn, but this a real nigga declaration. Got my advance and spent that shit like it was reparations. But we'll always understand my moves, cause this is chess we playing. I talked to Q-Tip about stacking blue chips, he said. I like that transition into the chorus. And I think I found that it's life. And I like this video. Like you can, he's just hanging out. Yeah, he's just fucking hanging out with people from his old town. Manifestations from my thoughts and my dreams So often it seems prophetic Although caution it brings I'm waking up in cold sweats with no sex Although vexed, my energy I gotta protect Where will I go next? Back to conclusions that I made in the past Much prior to the current, present, early stages of rap When I had just wanted to make it and rap Now fast forward to past tortures A nigga got the game on his back Carrying loads at the same time Burying foes Peep my catalog and marble at my various flows My girl a tennis star you niggas out here marrying hoes Plus I be selling out shows in different area codes for checking Yeah, uh, not that much like, uh, actual like, um, like, uh, puns or wordplay in there as much Uh, so there's not really anything, like, everything's kind of straightforward in there He's just giving a message right now, uh, like, about his life, um, about, like, his mental, all that all that stuff, and I'm very much fucking with his flow, his rhyme scheme, all that stuff. Like, it fits so perfectly on this beat. The way his voice sounds is so perfect on this beat, and I really fuck with the beat, too. It's all, like, it's really, like, relaxed and laid back. Like, he's about to tell you some shit, and he is, he is saying some shit. Marrying hoes, plus I be selling out shows in different area codes for checking. My premature premonitions are part of my existence. So every page that is written is penned with such conviction. Listen to music, it's obvious that the substance missing. A lot of tests come to those to whom much is given. So that time, the last couple bars in there uh, was and talking about, it's like, yeah, there's like no message in music anymore. Uh, and there's no like substance anywhere. And I do agree with that. I do think some people who say that don't realize that, like, old hip-hop, like, original, all that stuff didn't always have a message either. Didn't always have... They were just kind of just going for it. It wasn't always storytelling. wasn't always mindful stuff. But there was a lot of it, all right? There was a lot of it back then. And when it was, it was very powerful. Nowadays, it's just uh, fucking... It's, it's literally just fucking... That's all they're talking about, <laughs> and uh, uh, that and doing drugs and stuff like that. And like, obviously, old stuff does have a lot more doing drugs. But now it's just, I'm not a big fan of today's music all that much. I can respect the hustle or whatever, I guess. Like, I can respect that they're getting their money, they're getting stuff like that. Like, that's all cool. It's just not for me, really. You know what I mean? Like, I prefer like I listen to a lot of Wu Tang. I listen to a lot of N.W.A. Uh, I listen to a lot of like Jay Z and stuff like that. So those types of uh rap is what I usually go towards, like Tupac, Biggie, all that stuff. Um Yeah, so that's basically what he's talking about. It's just like, yeah, there's just it's not a lot of substance in today's music, not a lot of shit they're talking about. It's just all the same shit. It's missing. A lot of tests come to those to whom much is given. And I think it's all she wrote. Look at the my holy quotes. Looking for the antidote. And I think I found that it's life. Life, my nigga. It's life. More life. And I think it's all she wrote. Look at the my holy quotes. Looking for the antidote. And I think I found that it's life. Life, my nigga. It's life. More life. <laughs> 33, More 33 life. shows. I'm going home. I'm going to sleep. Where, man? I just be thugging it out everywhere, though. For real. Sweat and all that.
Nigga, this shit looks so cool. This shit look fake, nigga. We got, we got one too, God. You give it, you give them back to me. You know that's the exchange. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not one of these dudes that's gonna be like, I ain't trying to sun you. I'm trying to stand next to the sun. Mm. You get the light from you. you get the light. That was hard. That was hard. I'm not trying to sun you. I'm trying to stand next to the sun. That was a good compliment. That was that was kind of hard right there. That's a yeah. That's a bar. Yeah, that was a cool outro too. He was just kind of uh, he was kind of just uh. Oops, sorry. It, it was just him just hanging out, just showing him in his real life. Like, you know, like, he was at the basketball game. He was at a waterfall. Him, him calling Q-Tip. I still did not expect Q-Tip to sound like that for some reason in my head. I don't know why. But his chorus was pretty cool. Like, I very much liked liked that. It felt, it, it hit the vibe perfectly right. And it actually, it set the tone for the song. Uh, and, like, him just as well as Corday, like, their voices fit the beat perfect in the perfect way for what they were trying to do. Um, so I very much liked that song. That was a very, very fun, uh, very inspirational song, actually, because a lot of the messages in there, uh, is talking about how he turns his dreams into realities. Uh, that clip where he was talking to someone from his town, it's like, yeah, I literally grew up right there, so you can do whatever you put your mind to, all that stuff. Uh, and I very much fuck with that. I'm definitely going to listen to more Corday in the future. Um, but yeah, so uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Vlad Zahara. I'll drop those links down below. I also have a link tree that goes to basically all that stuff. It'll go to my Instagram, my Twitter, my Twitch, my other YouTube channel, which I post my gaming stuff on, Cosmic Vampire. Uh, it'll go to my Spotify, my iTunes, my Apple Music page, all that stuff. So check out my music, Zachary Zahara, on all platforms. And for now, I will see you guys later. Peace.